The other thing that I really, that jumped out at me was messages. Um, mm-hmm. All the changes to messages. And I will start with the last one that they mentioned, which they really didn't even mention. Craig Federighi only mentioned right. it in passing. In passing, yeah. I think because he didn't want to give Google credit, but... Uh, iOS 18 will support the RCS messaging protocol, which is uh, a protocol developed by Google. It is considered an open standard. Apple has already talked about this. We've talked about it on the show. It will allow those green bubble people to uh, those green bubble messages that we have to exchange like videos and images and all the rich text stuff like message reactions and replies and all of that much more reliably than we do now, because right now they use SMS and with iOS 18, we will be using RCS with, with Android phones that support it, which is basically all of them or, you know, most of them. them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm, I'm stoked about RCS support. Um, the second thing, and I, I wrote, um, uh, expletives, excited expletives in my notes about this, is messages via satellite with iPhone 14 and later. If you don't have cell service, you can send a message with a satellite connection. That's huge. Yep. I'm waiting for that to cost money, though. I'll pay for that. Oh, it's going to cost know, money. I get it. Yeah, I'm just they're... saying, it's that's wild. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, I, if you I, use the, even the emergency... Even the emergency one, I think, is going to only be free for a time, they had said, and it's going to eventually, there is going to be a charge for it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I fully expect but, there's some sort of service plan that you would get probably through iCloud at some point that would just get tacked onto your iCloud plan, I, I would hope. At some point. My guess is it's going to be free out of the gate. And and yeah. then they'll, yeah. Yeah, which get is you fine. hooked. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally okay with that. But yeah. the idea of... Because there have been times where I like, oh man, do I need to like pay for an e sim on a different carrier just so I can send messages when I'm in this one little area? Like, it would be great to be able to use a satellite to do that. So, yeah, I love it. And then my uh, favorite feature did, came along. Yes. And, oh, okay. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I, I shouted out, woohoo, got it. I'm done. I'm out. Time for me to go home. <laughs> and that was schedule messages to go later. Yes. How, how many years have I been griping about that on this show? I want to schedule a message to go. Now, what I think it won't do, I don't think I can schedule the message to go later and then have my phone off in airplane mode and be on an airplane and have it go. I could be wrong. We'll see <laughs> how that goes. But, uh, you know, like, does it go up to well, a server and wait up there or does it wait on my phone and go at that time? That's true. Fair question. It could go we don't know. into iCloud. If they're smart, it goes into iCloud and gets scheduled yeah. there. No, I want. I just wanted to comment that uh, you now have the ability to request control in uh, FaceTime chats to do remote control of a device. Yeah. yeah, as well as the ability to draw on someone else's device. So that's a Danger. big one. Danger. <laughs> no, I think that's great. That's like awesome. with, with permission. Yeah. 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 No, and, that's fantastic. And. Uh, yeah, that that whole paradigm is a game changer. I mean, it's something we've talked about on this show countless times that we've wanted. Uh, the updates in messages for emojis and text effects, we, you can have emojis that are not limited to Apple's whatever, six of them or something, uh, is great. I, I It bums me out when I see my Android friends being able to use anything as an emoji or like in Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or whatever. You can use whatever you want as a tap back. And now you can do that in uh, in messages, which I'm, I'm stoked about. So quick question. The uh, yeah. it's just, you know, down there in the in the corner on the screen that we're at, it talks about control center customization. But we've already got that. What what did I miss that was more customizable than? Oh, present? You can add apps and apps can expose their own features to be customizable nice. in control center. And you can replace those. Um, you, you, not only can you put those in control center, but you can also replace the flashlight and camera icon on your home screen on your iPhone oh. with these things. And 
If you are replacing one of them with a third party camera app that can be used while your phone is locked. So you don't need to unlock your phone. Like right now, you don't need to unlock your phone to use the camera. If you've got face ID, it probably unlocks anyway. Right. But but it doesn't need to in order to use the camera. At least I believe we can set it that way. That's also true now with third party camera apps. Pete, was there anything else in iOS 18 that that jumped out to you? It just, yeah, it was tap to cash. That looks like it's a pretty cool little feature to be able to uh, uh, send Apple cash back and forth to each other by uh, just holding your phone right next to each other. No need to. Without uh, needing to exchange content, contact information. Right. Right. So right. I could, I so, could send yeah. you money without you knowing my phone number, which right. is good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're like the good old days when you gave somebody money and they gave you a product and you could walk out of the store. You didn't give them your name, birth date, email address. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't even think about it. They, they they didn't. If they talked about that as an example, it did not dawn on me It, it or it did not register for me. What what they talked about was, you know, you're out to dinner with a bunch of people. You want to like give somebody money. But like I, I figure if I'm out to dinner with somebody, I'm probably OK with them knowing how to find me. Um, yeah. yeah, 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 so. But yeah, but not needing to, like you say, to exchange all your contact information just to, to get or give somebody $20 for, you know. I like a, that. Uh, you know, and like we're the, selling a lot of stuff on Facebook because we're moving, so, you know. Yeah, you right. Give it to me that way. That's good. So. I The um, Maps app gets offline uh, trail and hiking maps, which I love. I mean, I use all trails. This probably Sherlock's all trails for some people. My guess is not ev- not everyone, but um, in fact, it might wind up selling more all trails uh, subscriptions because if if there's more to it with uh, with all trails than there is with Apple Maps, the on the, the the fact that the idea of having an offline trail map on your phone might actually cause people to say, wait, I want I want a better implementation of this, but I'm, I'm stoked yeah. about that. Where does this come in? Probably under intelligence then is the, uh, is the very granular search they talked about. Uh, and yep. I think that was, uh, you know, Hey, you know, what was the podcast my wife told me about last week? You don't have to go in and go and remember even part of the name and start searching through messages or mail or, you know, it's, is that a, a the, the data detection, as Adam was talking about earlier, seems to be really, really getting refined. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's definitely yeah. part of Apple intelligence yeah, uh, okay. for sure, yeah. Yeah, which is okay. which is all happening on device. We'll talk more about that yeah. in a little bit. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. Like being able to ask that question of like, wait, what was that iPhone case that, that Pete told me about? You know, boom, there there it is. I, I know. Yeah. I think that's I, I think that's great. Um, one addition to iOS is with AirPods shaking your head to answer yes or no was pretty cool. Like, you know, there's a call coming in from, you know, if you're getting a call from Pete, all you do is nod yes and boom, it answers I the totally call. totally missed that. Yep. Or oh. shake no and it dismisses the call. You don't have to oh, say anything. Nice. Yep. That could cause problems. It could. <laughs> <laughs> 